welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new i'm kaya and today i'm going to be making a video about how i found an apartment in milan because it was definitely a process um, and it definitely took me a while it was definitely stressful and this is a video that i wish i had have seen i wish i had have had access to before i moved to milan and it's just something that i couldn't really i couldn't really find i couldn't really figure it out um <laughs> And it kind of left me, I guess, having to figure it out for myself. And it left me in a lot of stressful situations and a lot of things that I guess could have been avoided if I had a video like this to have referred to. So I just wanted to make it, um, I guess, to make it a little bit easier if you were, if you were going to Milan, if you were moving to Milan, um, because yeah, it's definitely something that I wish I had of seen, I wish I had of had access to, um, just for like my own reference, because even though you do make a lot of decisions for yourself and what's really right for you, which zone you want to live in, um, that's all like things that you'll have to kind of, I guess, work out for yourself, depending on your personal taste and what kind of lifestyle you want to have, etc., etc. Um, but just having a video like this, I feel like would have been so helpful just to get a gauge of like where to start looking, um, different real estate sites uh, and like alternatives to real estate sites to save you money, etc, etc. So yeah, I really hope this video can be helpful. Um, I've tried to make it as informative as I can. So I've just got notes written down on my laptop. So I'm going to be reading off of those, um, but I'm going to be putting like inserting on the screen uh, how to use certain real estate sites. And things like that that really really helped me when i when i moved to milan so so i hope you enjoy this video guys and i hope it can help you a little bit as well so for me personally what was important to me was living near the center living near uni finding um an area i guess that was yeah easily accessible to those places and somewhere that if i was out late at night for example um that i was close enough to the center so wherever i'd be going out it would usually be near duomo or um you know somewhere close to there that i could just walk home if i wanted to and i would never be in a situation where um i would be like forced to um stay somewhere weird or you know get a taxi by myself or something like that because um even though i did feel really safe in milan when i lived there it's just like not an ideal situation you want to be in um it's better if you can actually like be close and just be able to go home, I guess, whenever you want. Um, so that was definitely something that I was looking for. And I was lucky in the sense that I actually, like my university was a really, really close to the center. So I was really just looking in one area. So when I was looking for an apartment, I didn't really have to consider being like in the middle of uh, uni and uh, the center, for example, I could just focus on kind of one area because everything was all in the same, I guess, vicinity. And I was, um, personally, I was happy to pay a little bit more um, for that convenience because, you know, it was my first time moving out of home, first time living in another country. I wanted to make sure that, um, you know, I had a good place, a good safe place. And at this point, I didn't really know any Italians, so it was hard to kind of get that, um, ask those questions, get those reference points. So I really was uh, by myself, I guess. So I lived in an area called Navigli, and I was really lucky in the sense that I had a tram that stopped literally right outside my house. <laughs> the only bad thing was that I lived on the fourth floor, like the fourth floor of this apartment block, and <laughs> there was no elevator. So I would have to walk up like almost a hundred stairs every time I would <laughs> go up to my house, which was, yeah, I got used to it after a while, but oh my God, it was a lot of stairs. Every time we would order food to my place, the delivery driver would like ask us to come down and get the food because there were just too many stairs. <laughs> so even though I did have a tram that stopped right outside my house, I would say that because I lived kind of south of the center, it wasn't that far south, but it was south of uh, the center. If I were to look for a place in Milan again, I probably would look for a place, I guess, more in the north. Because in my opinion, the metros are better connected in the north, like I guess the red line, the purple line, which is the new one. Um, whereas where I lived, 
I lived on the Green Line, but it was like really far away from the metro station. So every time I wanted to get the metro to go somewhere or something like that, it was like a 15, 20 minute walk just to get to the metro station. So that's something I would definitely consider, um, even though I loved the area that I was in. It's definitely something that I would consider if I moved there again. Yeah, that was one downside. Even though there are a lot of pluses to where I lived, that was definitely one downside that um, I would consider again if I moved. Also, um, as a, I guess, generalization as well, the apartments in the north of Milan are generally a little bit newer, uh, whereas where I lived, they were quite old, um, I guess quite traditional even though the one that I lived in was quite modern on the inside like it had been done up and everything in general the apartments are a lot older whereas in the north they have a lot of they have a lot of like I guess done up apartments new buildings and stuff like that um, and a completely new metro line as well the purple one which is like <laughs> you go in there and it's like so high-tech when you go down there, it's all covered by like glass. So as soon as the metro comes up, the glass doors are still shut and then they open up and then you can like go in and go out. It's really different to the rest of Milan, which is just like, you know, those old metros that you see everywhere. Um, but they were so convenient. I loved the metros, but getting into how I actually found a place, what I'm gonna start with is the different areas of Milan, I guess that um, I would say are nice areas to live in, nicer areas in my opinion. So I've got here Navigli, Brera, Garibaldi and Moscova, Porta Genova, Porta Venezia, um, and anywhere along Via Torino, which is the road that leads from, it led from where I lived uh, right into the center. So I guess it's that road that goes from Colonna di San Lorenzo all the way to Duomo. And it's like the, um, it's the one that's lined with all the shops, like the, I guess, high street stores, like Zara and Mango and um, Calzedonia and things like that. So that's like a massive shopping street. The only bad thing about that would be uh, that it might be quite loud to live um, on that busy street but but you are right in the center so you're right where everything's happening so that might be something you want to look at the first thing that I would recommend to you guys before I even talk about real estate sites or real estate agents or anything is that there are a lot of Facebook groups that are targeted towards um, uni students specifically um, but even if you're not a uni student you can still stay in like you can still stay in these places. Um, they just uh, make it convenient because they're in uh, locations that are close to like Bocconi University or Cattolica or whatever. So um, that's something that you really should look at as well. I'm gonna insert some on the screen here. So the only downside is that unless, you are all, or unless you're always available, unless you're like constantly scrolling on the, um, on the Facebook pages, when someone posts a room or an apartment that's becoming available, they can go really, really quickly. Um, so you really have to be on the ball with it if you're really um, eager to find an apartment quickly or something. The main benefit to the Facebook groups are that you bypass the real estate agent. So you don't have to pay like any agency fees. Um, you don't have to deal with the real estate agent. You kind of just like go look at the apartment. If you like it, then you say, yes, I'll take it. And then you can basically just like move in whenever you want. You don't have to, I guess, um, wait on anything or anything. You can just, yeah, move in whenever your roommates, housemates are ready for you to move in. And yeah, like I said, the, um, the Facebook groups are often filtered by your specific university or a specific, a specific uh, zone that you want to live in. So they have like, yeah, Bocconi rents which is, I was actually quite close to that university um, as well. But yeah, that was that. So the second thing I'm gonna talk about is real estate sites. And they're really, really great for convenience. They are. Um, they do charge quite hefty agency fees though, which is the only downside, I would say. Um, and they are, of course, in Italian. So. If you don't know any of the language, it might be, you know, a little bit of a barrier initially, but you can easily just like look up, you know, most commonly used 
uh, words, I guess, in when it comes to rent and things like affitto um, and like monolocale, bilocale, trilocale, um, and things like that, which is like or stanza, which means room. The other ones just mean like one room, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, uh, etc. So depending on what you're looking for, depending on if you're, you know, looking for an apartment with a friend that you want to share with them. Um, or you're just looking for a room, it makes it really easy for you to filter through um, through your preferences that way. So yeah, generally you are paying for the convenience. So the first real estate site I'm going to talk about is um, idealista.it. So I guess I would say it's one of my favorites because it's one of the most simple to use and you can really filter um, by your preferences really, really specifically. So basically what you do is you select in the search bar affitto, which means rent. You select case or stanze, which means house or room. And then you type in the city, so Milan in this case. And once you search, um, if you have a look down the left hand side, it makes it clear which zone the place is in. And so it makes it easier for you to find exactly what it is you're looking for. Whether that's a one bedroom place, a two bedroom place, or just a room. Here, um, I'm circling where the Duomo is. Um, so that is the center of Milan. Anywhere around this will be quite expensive. Brera is a good area. Uh, Centrale is not the best to live, but it's where the main train station is in Milan um, that will connect you to the airport, etc. Um, where I'm pointing here is in the south. I lived near there. It was a little bit further north, um, closer to Porto Genova. So as an example, I just selected Navigli, which is the area I lived in. As you can see, there are all the monolocale, bilocale, um, which basically mean one or two rooms. You can adjust them on the side as well to stanze if you're looking for just one room um, and not an entire apartment. That's a lot cheaper that way. Um, you'll see the general price points can be between 300 to 700 or 800 euros, depending on the area um, for the room per month. They show all of these different options available to you. So when you're looking for something specific, it makes it a lot easier um, for you to find that exact specific thing that you're looking for. The second site that I'm going to talk about is immobiliare.it. Um, and this one is another popular one that's, I guess, relatively easy to use. Um, basically, you just select affitto again, which means rent. Search Milan in the search bar, select case slash appartamenti, which means houses slash apartments. You can filter by price, meters squared, etc. Da and a basically just means from and to. So if you have a specific budget that you wanna um, that you wanna stay in, it makes it easier to filter between um, the prices that you're specifically looking for. Um, that will work for you. So you can also search on the map how close the place is to the city um, and it'll give you basic price points uh, for the certain areas. So if you're closer to Duomo, for example, it'll be definitely more expensive. Um, you can pay, you know, a thousand euros, 1200 euros, depending on how many rooms it is, um, etc, etc. So the third site that I'm going to talk about is Gromia. Now this one is actually the one that I found my apartment on. I was really lucky in the sense that the apartment that I found that I ended up choosing for the majority of the year that I lived in was right across the road from my Airbnb that I stayed in for the first month when I was in Milan. So I kind of knew the area already and it was kind of a no brainer, I guess. Um, I knew that I liked the inside of it. And like I said, the only downside was that it had so many stairs to get up to it. Um, but you know, I accepted that. I was prepared to compromise on that. Um, so that was fine for me. Um, it was in a really good zone and it was really convenient. Um, the location was really convenient to get to uni in the center. And basically this really, really depends. So your deposit, which is something that I'm going to talk about. Um, I paid one month, I think it was one month of rent that I paid for my deposit. And then on top of that, I paid an agency fee. So my rent was 1,000 euros per month, I believe, which included like all my bills, um, water, gas, electricity, internet, um, and all of my rental costs. Um, if I needed something replaced, it was free. My landlady would do it um, and all of those things. So I actually think it was worth 
it was worth it even though I was by myself and it was quite expensive. Um, everything was included and I had a really, really good landlady. She made everything so easy. I got my deposit back so easily. Um, and yeah, she was just really understanding and always attentive to things that went wrong in the apartment. So yeah, I was really, really happy with that. I got lucky there. So Gromia will give you, it'll show you all the options available to you like the other sites. Um, you'll be able to see that you can find quite some nice places, especially if you're looking for somewhere with a friend, you can get something quite nice and split the costs. So here I just clicked on stanza, meaning room once again. And if that's what you're looking for, it'll show you some options. So the one that I clicked on now is in Corso of Buenos Aires, which I believe is one of the main roads that runs through Porta Venezia, which is on the red metro line. Um, and that's also the same as the Duomo. Uh, so even though it is a little bit further out from the city, everything in Milan is super connected. So you won't have any trouble like getting to the center, for example. It's really, really easier. Um, it's really, really easy for you um, in that sense. And the metros are so quick, so frequent. Um, you can't really go wrong with those. The other ones that I have here are uni places, erasmusu.com and spot a home, which um, spot a home I wouldn't really recommend because usually they make you um, like pay everything before you even see the place. Um, and then if it's something that you don't like, then they have like um, this policy that if you don't uh, like realize or, off, um, or get a refund by a certain time frame, then they don't give you your money back. Like you really have to be quick with it and sometimes it's really really difficult to get your money back as well so don't really recommend that one but the other two um i know people that have used those and said that they have had you know luck with those so that's good for them one tip um i guess ties into what i was saying before is that be really really careful not to pay any money or anything like that before you sign the contract before you read through everything, um, make sure you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Um, make sure you, like all your checks and balances are fine uh, because especially as a foreigner, especially as a tourist, someone who's not native Italian speaking, you really need to be careful um, to, I guess, just look out for yourself. Just make sure everything checks out. Um, you know, just everything like, like that. I guess that just relieves some of the pressure and you can, um, it just makes the move like a lot easier. Even though like me, I remember being so desperate to find a place um, that I would almost just take anything that I could get at that point because I was like, I just want somewhere to live, you know? So um, that's definitely something that I would say to look out for. Um, just be aware of it um, and yeah, just have common sense, Have keep your wits about you and that kind of thing. But yeah, that's all I really have for this video. I really hope it was helpful and insightful to some of you um, if that's what you're kind of looking for because I definitely wish I had this video when I was moving to Milan because I honestly was like a fish out of water. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, so this is something that really would have helped me and I hope it could help some of you guys as well if this is something you're thinking about doing. But yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you very soon in my next one, which I think will be the five ways that I became more Italian or that I noticed myself adapting to Italian culture. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you very soon. My next